Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how you can export all your orders from WooCommerce into Excel. For that we are going to use the Algol Plus plugin which is uh, advanced order export for WooCommerce. I've already installed this plugin and now I'll activate this plugin. Once you activate the, this plugin in the WooCommerce menu, you will be able to see a new tab that says export orders. Okay, this was previously not available until you install and activate this specific plugin. So, I'll quickly go to the export plugin, export orders tab. Now, there are some options which are locked here. For that, you will require to upgrade with the pro version. However, the free version does the trick very nicely. So you may skip it. And I personally don't use the pro version myself. Now we'll look at what exactly we are looking at. So there are some options here. Filter orders by order date, modification date, paid date, completed date. So basically you have an option to filter orders based on this. Now I I particularly go with the order date itself. And I'll, I'll keep that as a default in this video as well. Next is the date range. So we can select the date range of the orders. So uh, we can have a start date. So I can uh, select uh, maybe 1st of December to maybe 9th of February okay and we also have something called as express export this range should not be saved in the scheduled task so basically whatever uh, date range you put here it will not be saved now let's quickly go to the right hand side here so filter orders by don't export child orders export refunds okay mark exported orders export unmarked orders so basically you can filter out by orders now order status this is very important let's say for example if you just want to export the processing orders and don't want to export the completed orders so that is something which you can manage from here otherwise you can consider exporting everything and then you can filter it out using the excel Filter by orders, that's the tab. Now we are looking at filter by products. Now here you have got an option to export based on the product categories, the vendors or creators, the products, product name itself, product SKU, product testimony, etc. etc. So if you want to, you can filter out all those details from here itself rather than filtering it in the excel you can also exclude some of the products that you don't want to export i'll just uh, close this here i'll give you an idea about the products so let's say for example if i type t-shirts it will give me all the t-shirts and let's say for example if i select blue t-shirt it will export only orders placed for this specific product. So this is a good feature. If you have got different teams, they can export their related data or their product order data and they can start processing it in bulk. We can close filter by products and then there is filter by customer. You can look for specific customer data as well to be exported. Filter by coupon. So you can uh, use or you can put in some coupon codes here to get the data based on the coupons that have been used. Filter by billing. You can filter it based on the billing also. That what is the city of the order, the state, the country of the order. Filter by shipping. Same as billing. You can select the location here as well. Filter by item and metadata. So you can also select the fee, the line, item, shipping, etc. Based on that, you can filter out this data as well. 
So this is a very comprehensive plugin and it allows you to export a lot of things in uh, and gives you a lot of options. Coming back to the left hand side, once your date range is selected, you can also decide the name of your file, export file name. This is based on the orders, dash, year, month, date, hour, minute and seconds. So this is how it will be named. You can also select the format if you want uh, CSV, HTML, XML, JSON, etc. So most of the people who are non-coders will prefer to have an Excel format itself or a CSV format. PDF formats are also good if you want to take the print out. Otherwise, you can skip those as well. You also get the date and the time of when the order was placed. You can select the date range or date format that you want. Maybe Feb 9, 2023. Do you want? So whatever you are comfortable with, you can select the date range accordingly. So date format accordingly. So maybe I'll select, I'll keep this default date format itself. Then there's an option for time as well. You can select the time as well or you can just select the dash. If you select dash here, your <laughs> time will not be exported. The order time will not be exported. Now, sometimes what happens is after exporting the Excel, you want to filter the orders date wise. So in both scenarios, you can put the dash in the time so that you don't get a messy data and you don't have to split that data using the Excel formulas. Next is sort order by. So you can either sort it by the order ID, order date and there are many other options which are given here. But I personally prefer it to be order ID in the descending order so that it gives me easier outlook of the orders. Next is the miscellaneous settings, format, number, user, WC, decimal separator. So these are all advanced settings which are there, which can be ignored, okay, as uh, uh, normally you can keep them as default. You can also select the fields to be exported. Now here you can see all the fields that will be exported in your data. Let's say for example, if you don't want the if you don't want the discount amount to be included. So you can simply click on this bean icon and the discount amount will be removed. Similarly, if you want to add some new fields uh, that you may have added using the custom form, you can definitely select it from here. So is VAT exempt? You can select this and click on, uh, name it as VAT. And uh, we will click on confirm. Okay, it says empty column name. I'll name it VAT again here. File format could be any. So let's put it as string and I'll put it as confirm. So is VAT uh, exempt will come out here. And we can drag it down here. So it will be there in our Excel that is exported. Now, to save all this, you require to click on save settings. Okay. If you don't click on save settings, if you directly click, click on export, maybe the next time you come here, you will have to do all these settings again. So, we will be putting save settings here. And then we can cl click on export. You should never select export without a progress bar because if your data is huge, your file may not get exported immediately okay it will take time or it will not export at all so you should always click on export here once you click on export it will show your progress bar and you will be able to download the excel we can quickly open it And here we will have all the order list here with order number, completed status, order status, order date. Now the time is not there because time I had excluded the city, 
postal code, country, your email ID, your billing phone number, your cash on delivery, what was the payment title, method, etc. etc. So, as mentioned, you can manage the headers of these things from here and you can delete all the unwanted things that you do not wish to export in your Excel. I hope you liked the video. See you in the next one soon.